All right. Uh, to prove this is video off, I have no expertise in this shit. So yeah, just take everything I say, grain of salt. Of course, you know, if you find this, take grain of salt. So basically, my idea is, or like the thing we're talking about is, how can we do like a comp, you know, competitive in day by day? Like people say, like it's be on, like horrid and horribly unbalanced of course you know with perks add-ons how would you work it how would you do this how would how would perks and like in general balancing work in dvd if you did a comp thing like would perks be banned would certain builds be banned or you know how would swift would swifts be like dominant as fuck you know entire groups of people of course in comp you know how would the how would points work what you know what would be incentives so oh uh, here's the breakdown of it so first, I'm going to tackle the idea of the perks and, you know, builds and all that stuff. Simplest thing I can think of that would make balancing, like, super somewhat easy is just do what Lights Out did. Because Lights Out mode, to me, kind of showed what competition is like. Because, you know, if you're eerie levels and shit, you're still eerie level in Lights Out. So, so my the idea there is in Lights Out, you kind of saw how fast people died you know like in the lights out but you saw how fast survivors died some people escaped of course and just different things and like because in lights out everyone is basically as you start the game like you pick up the game the first time you have no perks no nothing you have no idea what maps are so that's perfect so would you have the lights out mode like the nightshade and everything maybe why not do that to but to kids that more of the horror vibe again, but also gives it the thing of competition. So your angst and like the anxiety of yeah, the not angst, anxiety of playing survivor. And for the killer too, anxiety of not knowing where someone is. To make it fair too, uh in doing comp mode, all gens, like the gen colors, red and shit, gone. Just remove that effect from the killers to make it fair again. And but basically, no perks. The idea for my idea of comp, no one has perks, no one has abilities, no one has this, no add-ons, no anything. Survivors can still find shit around the map, but lower it down to like, I don't know, for the entire map, say if it's bad ham, no, probably not bad ham, because pallets are a nightmare. So, you know, like be certain maps, like the so at best, say on the map in general, there'd be for each survivor, four chests or three chests in general, just three chests around the map. The killers have nothing to increase add-ons, no, nothing spawns, nothing this, that. But like, lights out, lights out to me showed how valuable or to me showed how much people say, when people say like, oh yes, they're a great survivor player. They can do this for minutes on end. They can spend five minutes looping the killer. You remove the perks, some of those people just go on the ground. They're on the ground and they just give up or they just like, they're like, fuck, they get hit on the ground. Because without certain perks, most people are dead. Even with killers. Killers that say, like, I'm the great, but they have to run certain perks. Because they need something like that, you know? It's like, um, but, like, how would maps work for it? Like, what? How would, how would map systems work? Would it be giant maps? Would it be small maps? Would it be anything? I say medium, the medium-sized maps are no giant big ones, like RPD or whatever the fuck another one. Uh, Skull Merchant's map, which is just killing. It's just that's yeah, stupid. Uh, Swell Merchant's map, you know, none of those, no giant maps. So it's like lights out style. So you can't see shit. Killer chance, you can see all this. But it's like, it's basically two maps or like three maps, or say four maps in general that are just in rotation. So it's only the, a certain maps in rotation, like lights out. But with it, the, you know, with all the points, you know, like how would points or like how would ranking work in comp? My idea for ranking, how that would work in general is to do it off a points based system a points of 10 and then can how is a 10 point system going to work so basically you know in general say you have 80 points or they'll say start off at start off you need 40 points to win like to rank up once so my, my basic brain's going off of like if you know destiny's ranking system for like crucible or iron banners or you know like not iron banner for uh, for their competitive they're basically, you do one match, you did a few matches, great, you ranked up once. Now you get something, you know, you get like this, say, like a silver or something head for survivor or killer or something like this. But like, so my idea is to do more like a Destiny's version of Trial of Osiris, where it's like, you have a certain amount of days 
till the reset. So the re- weekly reset, which is a Tuesday, like day by daylight. Actually, just I just thought that it, it's kind of funny. Both games have their own version of that. But like, so say from Saturday to Tuesday, so four days in day by daylight, the comp's active. Comp's open, so it's not always on. So those four days, people running survivors and everything just get different skins and stuff. It was like, so you hit a certain rank, that's your uh, rank for the week, for that week. And you, that's your placement, basically. And then over the next week, then like say every four weeks or every month. So every month, bam. So you have four in total, right? Yeah, four in total. And then, so in total for the entire weeks, for the entire first week, you get your placement thing, which is like either, like the rewards will work off what kit for killers. It would work off which killer you've played the most in that four days. So the entire time, which killer has the most time, it records that and says, all right, here's the reward. So it'd be a head or a full body version or the weapon, like in a unique style, like engravings or like some, like the anniversary thing, or it's a unique design. But going back to it, the points idea, that's rewards, but the points idea is to work by a point system of 10. The 10 system is basically for each survivor, each survivor is 10 points. So ignore the blood point score because that'd be outrageous to calculate. Um, the 10 the, for each survivor is 10 points. So four survivors is 10. So if say the killer kills your swift, your team, not team, your team of four survivors, you get only you escape, only one person's escape, you get 10 points. The entire team gets 10 for that one person, you know, but they also lose 30 points because three of their teammates died. So that's the thing. So for the killer too. So if the killer only gets, if the killer only gets one point, he gets, he gets basically, you know, so the 30 that escaped, the 30 points go away and the 30 points. So only 10 or no. Yeah. The killer basically kills no one. That's 40 points lost. So he doesn't gain anything. So nothing happens there, you know? But if he loses again, the points go down again, you know? The points go down. So he loses 20, you know? Say, like, two people escape, two people die. So that 20 there takes the average and stays, so it going gets down, it cuts down to 10. So you only get 10 points for that average of the, first, of the second match. So the averages keep changing, but always stay in the 10s range. So, you know, basically divide it. So three people live. So you manage, so from the, say, the 30. So only 30, so 20 points. So your team loses 20 points or get, only gains 20. You know, so either gain or lose it. Either way, you can work it around, like the idea of that. It will still either gain you or lose your profit for being a, a survivor or a killer team. You know, basically doing that. Of course, people are going to be like, oh, this doesn't make sense, or it'd be broken in certain ways. Yes, it's going to be broken. Behavior probably won't fix it. And like something else I thought of too was like, how would you incentivize if people get to like a super high rank? You know, like if the first rank to level up is 80 points in total, or say it's like 90 points or 100 points, something like that, you know? So if you go to 100, so it's basically the same rank system as iridescent, you know? So you go to, I think, I think it's, uh, bronze or ash I, I don't know what the names are i'm just gonna say the colors so it's gray to iridescent you know you got gray to iridescent to the red if you go to basically red you get like a unique outfit you know a unique outfit for your survivor that has the most hours or the the killer that has the most hours so it's like if it's a killer it's gonna be like this unique like say example death slinger it would be a full-on body death slinger with like and it's just not the weapon no no for that thing you do it like so in total if you get to iridescent at the end of the entire month you get this full-on body version of death slinger you know with this hat his clothes the face you know but uh, like a full-on version of what i kind of thought of called the perfect the like the true form or the perfect versions of the characters so the idea of that would be and it's kind of stupid and probably would just make people be like, what the fuck? It gives you an incentive to play competitive. Um, the perfect versions are basically just full-on bodies of, like, the characters in the lore before they became, like, kind of grotesque or monstrous. So, 
an example would be like the nurse instead of the nurse carrying a, a bag over her head and like her, her body looking shoveled and burnt it, it's uh like this beautiful nurse this beautiful lady just floating around attacking you or it's this uh or it's the wraith before he's burned and charred and doing all this stuff and just floats towards you and t- hits you over the head billy He's already looked kind of like disheveled and like stretched. So for him, it would basically just be like a more fixed up Billy. You know, like each character has their own version. Idea, another idea I had for like the, if you went like all four months iridescent or the entire month iridescent, uh, do like a gold version. I know that seems really stupid. I just think it'd be funny because it wouldn't be out there because like blight skins already make you kind of basically a giant orange glow in the distance. So a gold version just like a fully uh like gold dipped killer or survivor like skins and stuff like with the shirts and outfits with flashy outfits because you already have the fucking halo thing so like i just think it'd be funny as shit because mostly i would think it'd be funny if you get chainsaw down by a, a full gold plated uh hillbilly or a gold plated fucking uh spirit or onrio or whatever fucking just i don't know the copyright would that be we just start doing gold plates versions, but yeah. So this is the idea. The comp is basically lights out, but with like the t- a ten point system, a ten point system just to base around like how to do it. You know, a ten points of each person doing a certain thing, and ten points of just people doing kind of more stupid shit. Like it, yes, it would be broken. There would be certain things that be you have to fix, but that's why you try it in the PTB or you try it in the live game. Why try in the live game? Because you get more people on it that that can't don't don't have fucking pc because remember people who play on console don't have ptb because i feel 100 they a a console would probably blow up if it had too much ptb power on it but yeah that's all i really have to say for this it's a really stupid idea but uh if you like it give me comment give me okay give me what you think in the comments like, tell me what you think in the comments because i have honestly no idea what the fuck or like what other people think about this you know i think it'd be kind of cool so uh yeah thanks